Trump just announced shocking thing he's adding to the border wall that's never been done before, one of President Trump's most beloved and looked forward to campaign promises has been his promise to build a wall on the southern border with Mexico. The United States has been feeling the effects of an almost unfettered flow of illegal immigrants coming in from Mexico. Of course, the logical explanation would be to just deport those who come in illegally, but the red tape that has tied the hands of law enforcement has made it even more important that we find an ounce of prevention to cure our problem with illegal immigration. That imperative means that any steps toward the construction of the border wall makes any of us who value our system of government very excited. However, there's been a new aspect to the plans that none of us have expected up to now. The president is nothing if not unconventional, however, his news plans to bling out the border wall is something that is altogether unusual, but possibly very useful. The left and the media are of course not at all happy about the wall at all, much less any innovations that would make it more useful or less of a drain on society. There've been all kinds of objections to everything surrounding the border wall, but President Trump has found a way to make it green, and they're still upset about it. Via The Guardian, the president proposed a radical way to fund his proposed Mexican border wall this week, covering it in solar panels. The same Donald Trump who has spent years criticizing renewable energy as uneconomical and who has pulled the U.S. out of the Paris Climate Agreement has now floated the idea of adding solar panels to his proposed barrier along the, the U.S.-Mexico border. The president believes the panels would transform the wall, which Trump envisions would be 40 to 50 feet high, into beautiful structures, according to congressional insiders who spoke to Axios about a meeting Trump had with Republican leaders. Just as put a bird on it became Portlandia's mantra for transforming objects from humdrum to hipster, put a solar panel on it appears to be a mechanism for making hostile architecture more palatable. It turns out that solar panels are popping up as adornments on other hostile structures across the United States. Last month the city of Boston welcomed 10 new benches with solar-powered USB charging units to its collection of urban furniture. The units allow members of the public to add juice to their smartphones on the go, useful for sure, but their positioning prohibits homeless people from laying down. Say Brian Jacobel the solar bench dividers all over Boston now make it so tourists can charge phones and the homeless can't lay down solar panels have also been installed in the grounds of several California prisons as a means to save on energy costs. Even better, federal inmates actually get to manufacture some solar panels for less than $1 per hour. Outfitting public spaces with solar panels doesn't hurt, but they will never really tackle the underlying problem, said Albert Pope from the Rice School of Architecture. The average American needs to cut her energy consumption by 75% and cut it fast, he said. The president's idea of adorning the border wall with solar panels is raising questions of practicality and logic. Putting solar panels on the wall would amount to mere decoration with no substantive contribution to its basic obnoxious function, a barrier separating one group of people from another, said Langdon Winner, political theorist philosopher of technology and author of Do Artifacts Have Politics? I'm wondering what the solar electricity would be used for. Electrocuting people who try to climb the wall. For Nezar Al-Sayed, a UC Berkeley professor of architecture and planning, the wall is indefensible from a humanitarian perspective and ineffective from a security perspective. Trying to embellish it with a technical function or a new utility, is a folly, he said. I feel like no matter what the president does surrounding a border wall, the left will have problems and say that he's going to single-handedly destroy the world. He's found a way to make the wall that, given, they don't want, but incorporate a left's pet project and make it more environmentally friendly, and somehow they've still found a way to say that they think it's a bad idea. So what is a good idea? Just do what you guys say all the time no matter what. Yet, that left the White House when Obama left. Source, The Guardian, share if you think the border wall is a good idea. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.